Hello there. What's going on? This is a this is an unboxing, not an uncasing. Okay. Uh, someone help me, please. Can we take this out of the? That's six pieces. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Well, um, that's better. Right. Today, we're going to be taking a look at these two beautiful clone troopers. The double packs have arrived. Finally. We got phase one, Clone Trooper Lieutenant, and we've also got the 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper. So, and uh, I'm there's some things that I want to do in this video. Like for example, the number one thing is look how much better that is than that, right? So just so happy the windows are back in. I mean. You know, Cobb Vamp and Cab Bang came out last year. They're really great. But if they had been packaged with the windows, I think a lot more people would have bought them. So I've still got a lot of these left in my store. Also, we've got a lot of 501st characters now. So if you like the 501st, um, you're, I think that we've been really spoiled recently because... Um, we got um, Anakin Skywalker, General Anakin, which I do not have. I sold him. Um, he's a really lovely figure. We had uh, Echo. We've got uh, Apo here, Commander Apo, and they all you know, like most of these now are coming with the removable helmets, and they've got lovely face sculpts. Whereas before, you would just they will it you would just get the the helmet, but there's no face. So that's a really big improvement. I like Apo. There's also yeah, this is one we've got um, this guy right in the archive series. This was uh, one of the first five or first troopers to come out. This one, I don't think he doesn't have a removable helmet. Um, so if you're thinking about army building, which I think you should. I mean, that's kind of the obvious point, isn't it? To having clones that they're part of a, an army and we should be able to buy multiples and not have to keep going to AliExpress all the time. So these these are good. These are cool. I love this. Uh, the arc. I, I appreciate that uh, Hasbro uh, will repacking. Uh, this guy, you know, and not just repacking, um, you know, like Luke Skywalker and Han Solo all the time. We got Jesse and Fives. So let's have a look at this. So they came last year. It's really, again, it's just bad timing. These would have looked so much nicer with the, with the windows in. But, uh, yeah, they're really like top class figures. This one's Jesse. I've got Fives as well. And then today I'm going to open this fella. Who came last year the phase two clone trooper um all white and we have information from yak face that there will be a double pack um the phase one or oh, no sorry phase two clone trooper will be will be boxed together with the battle droid so it's kind of a uh versus you know a clone trooper versus battle pa uh, battle droid pack um, looks okay because I think not a lot of people were able to get hold of these. They came in a wave, which was an assortment, and it was. And so again, you know, army building. Um, if Hasbro are going to release this uh, double pack, and by the way, this double pack looks like it doesn't have a window in it. Um, I do hope the price is reasonable because then again, it allows the people to to build up their, their their squads you know you can have more of them and that's again that's the whole fun of having the clones is to get more more so i'll take these two away and uh, what i'll do is i'm going to open these these up first so on the side we're still on the galaxy packaging right so we've got that on the side uh let's turn around oh sorry really nice on the back we, I just wonder what's going to happen when we get to, uh, you know, like we talked about Hammerhead and the new uh, uh, Acolyte uh, figures. We're getting the package. Black series is like changing color and everything. And but I still hope that they can do double packs and triple packs and and, and quadruple packs. And but just use the new uh, the new uh, style packaging will look cool. I think a lot of the collectors do appreciate these double packs. Um, so. 
Without further ado, let me, uh, where's my pink? Here he is. Uh, I'm coming to slice you. So I'm going to get this guy open. Sorry, this guy. I mean, these guys. I'm going to have these two troopers open. And then we're going to play around with them and see, like, how cool they are. Right. Which, uh, where should I go? Top or bottom? I'll, I'll go this way. Slice. There you go. One. Two. Very easy. Open the box this way. Oh, nice. Oh, it's got lots of plastic. Uh, one, two, three. It's still in the box. <laughs> All right, so this is like a shield. The shield. The shield is not down. We have to. We have to penetrate the shield wall. Okay, there we go. The shield is now down. Um, here we go. Oh, they do look really cool. Let's have a close up here of their faces. Hello there. Hello there, clone troopers. Hello there. I, mean, I think they, they all look like Apo. Don't they have the same face as Apo? I'm pretty sure. And they've got the flat top haircut. Um, no distinguishing marks on their faces, you know, like, um, I know they, they do have scars. Some of them have scars, which is nice. Um, but there's no like, um, you know, like Fives and Jesse and some of the other ones, they have tattoos and whatnot, which which really makes them stand out. And you remember that from the Clone Wars because they're unique characters. Um, the, I think that this is the most beautiful thing in the pack here is this helmet. And I was just saying in my last video, I really want this in the Black Series, the actual helmet itself. That would look so good on my display next to my Boba Fett helmet. Mm, nice. And they come with... You get like, uh, I always appreciate it when you get like the, the rifle and you also get the blaster as well. So that's nice. And then I remember, uh, Echo, who was a, a deluxe, he came with, uh, I think it was two pistols as well. So the, the captains, the, uh, the officers, the, uh, how do we say the arc, the arc troopers, you know, those guys, the, those usually come with, um, they usually come with uh, two holsters and two pistols as well, which is even better. Right, I'm going to take these out. Let's be ever so careful. I will better read the instructions first in German and Chinese. I don't think so. All right, which one should we... I mean, who's who? How do you... This is the thing, right? So I'm t I'm guessing that because I'm not really 100% familiar with the, the paint and the artwork on their, on their armor, but... Look, they're both the same. They've got to be the same mold, right? This is totally the same. It's just that, right, this guy has to be uh, from just from my memory. I'm thinking back to that final season of the Clone Wars. Um, I think this is this belongs to him. And this the this one, this is the lieutenant. OK, and if I'm wrong, I have to go check on the packaging. Wait a minute. Oh. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, look, it shows you on the packaging. So if you're if you're a bit of a dummy like me, you just have a, have a little quick look at the packaging there, and you can see he doesn't have the mark on his chest. But I don't know. Some people don't care about that. Let's make that. Did you like that sound? It's nice, isn't it? All right, let's pop these guys out. Mm -hmm. Let's go for. I quite like this sound. Legs and head and body. Oh, they're really stuck in. Oh, one is out. All right, let's have a look. Get the helmet. Helmet. Oh, I release. Sure, that, that shot out like a cannonball. All right, one of them. Let's have a weapon, please. And I've got tape on it as usual. Oh, I'll have to cut that off later. Right, let's have a look at the... Hi. What are you looking at? This is a... Uh, put it on my finger. Let's have a close-up. Ding! We got Ahsoka's helmet. That's really beautiful. I love that. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. And nice. Thing. Remember Doc Ondo? Uh, I unboxed him, and he's he's uh, he comes with some objet d'art. He comes with with some accessories. One of them is a clone trooper uh, phase one, like a battle, uh, like a really weathered, dirty helmet, which I think is really cool. Actually, Queenie, 
Can you go get that for me? It's on my shelf. Do you know what I'm talking about? There's a helmet. And it belongs to Doc Ondor. It's a Phase 1 Clone Trooper helmet. You found it? Right, let's put this on. Dun, 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 dun. Nice. Right, thank you, Queenie. Oh, look at that. So we got... This is from uh, Doc Ondor. From his uh, accessories. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. They're all the same, aren't they? Let's see, let's see if that fits on his head. It should do. They should all fit. Right, I'm demoting you to phase one. Now, yes, you are demoted. <laughs> I don't know the difference between these helmets, like uh, in terms of, uh, you know, combat safety. I'm going to die. Someone quickly give me my phase two helmet back. Jesus. Um, yeah, it looks quite cool. And, and if you are the kind of person that likes to paint your, your figures, you could go ahead and... Shh, I'm not. I'm useless at any kind of like anything artistic to do with paintbrushes and drawing. Forget about it. That's not my style. I'm very uh, creative with my mouth. Um, right, let's have a look at the other guy. Whoa, cool. We got the phase one helmet. I'll put that there. And. Let's take this guy, look, just identical, isn't he? Hmm. Alright, so, these two guys are just completely identical. Apart from the extra blue stripe on the chest and, you know, like this guy has the blue stripes running down the side of his arms. So there's a little bit of difference in the paintwork here, you know, because he's a lieutenant. Yes, lieutenant. Get back to work. I outrank you. You are a grunt. Ugh. I don't know which one's the grunt, I'm not sure. Um, where's that uh, phase one? All right, let's have a look at this. Phase one, phase one. So there you go. I'm pretty sure these are exactly the same, right? Let's have a look. Doink. Come on, camera. Go. There you go. These two here. They've got to be the same, right? Nice. Brothers. All right, let's have a look on this one. Fits really well. Dun dun. Ha ha. My head has seen combat, but the rest of my body has not. That's weird. What is going on? That doesn't look right. I'll take that off immediately. And the other one. There you go. You can put that on there and trick your friends. But someone who's very nerdy and understands the law, L O R E, will criticize you and say, take that helmet off immediately. That does not belong on him his head right I'm gonna, now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the video and I'm going to um, take the weapons out and have them do some little, little bit of posing all right because like I love the, the troop any kind of trooper really I mean it could be a biker scout um, it could be a deaf trooper it could be an imperial storm trooper I don't care I just love posing them with their weapons like they're they're in there uh, you know like kneeling down crouching down getting ready to fire uh, this guy yeah, it's just, this, is this the old, well, the kneecaps are okay, they've got the, um, he's got movable, um, like the, the pads here, they kind of move up and down a bit, that's okay, I think that's okay. I just don't like it when the kneecaps are like, um, stuck on, and then you turn, like with the Bad Batch, do you remember that? And the, and the other clone troopers, you would like, you'd bend at the knee, and then this would just turn to the side and it would look so stupid but this is much much better i like this so yeah nice mold it's okay it's good and in the last video i did well i was talking about like um doc ondor's big uh alien feet and how that was like such a strong base for him to stand up and you could put him in all these like complicated positions and he looks really cool and i always had trouble with the troopers because they had these tiny little white boots and I, I just feel like their feet are too small um and that's my only gripe really with clone troopers and stormtroopers is can we have slightly bigger feet um i don't i mean i don't want them to look really out of proportion not i'm not asking for clown feet like my, you know but uh just just big enough for them so they can you know stand up and not keep falling down 
Uh, this is nice. Look at that rotation. Three six. Ooh, I'm going in over. Yeah, I learned the articulation and everything is really cool. Shoulder pads are nice. This is very sturdy. I like this. Nice. All right, right. So I'm going to go get their weapons and I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay, I'm back again with the weapons. Uh, weapons of mass destruction. They are completely the same. So, yeah, both of them have completely the same rifles and the shorter pistols are exactly the same as well. It's okay. Um, you know what I found? It's kind of weird. Like, um, in the past when I've got Black Series clone troopers, like some of them, the, the plastic is like a really dark, like really like really black plastic and then some of them are more of a gray tint these ones are more of a grayish tint um yeah i don't know why they do that like why are some like jet black and some like not and they're kind of just grayish i don't know maybe gray is cheaper to to manufacture i just not sure about that but yeah they look cool i like these rifles and um uh, let's have a look at the uh, the smaller pistols as well there you go. They're totally the same. Let's go close up there. Boing! Oh yeah, super close up. This is uh this guy basically just has the pistol, right? The phase two clone trooper. And so this new double pack that's coming up, like him versus the battle droid, I'm guessing this is just a straight repack of this guy. And his uh mold and all the articulation and you know those flexible pads on his knees that are exactly the same and the same as uh, these guys as well which is fantastic i like that so i think if you've been collecting black series for the last couple of years and you've been really into grabbing you know the clones uh you've probably got quite a sizable collection now and it looks pretty cool so i like this i might have to open this soon i just don't want to open it today um right i'm going to get these guys in some poses so uh I'll
Right, take a look at these two guys. They're just really easy to pose. I think that the uh, the clone trooper, the sculpt, has uh, gotten a lot better over the years. Um, also, my my ability to pose them has uh, has gotten better as well. Um, it's kind of hard to do it under pressure when the camera's rolling, but I tried my best. Um, yeah, they do. They, I think the rifles look the best, you know, because you can actually bend their elbows and manipulate the wrists so that they're actually looking down the the barrel of the gun looking down the sight of the rifle and uh that that that, that shot looks really cool um so i think for like people who like clone troopers in general are going to love all these new black series ones that have been coming out recently and also just like for the 501st legion fans um there's just so i think there's way more 501st than any other of the uh, divisions um, <clears throat> I think my favorite one is I like them both but I think my favorite one is probably the one because I just love that the paint on the Soka's helmet is so nice I just think this is gorgeous and uh, yeah so some other clone troopers that I recommend if you didn't pick them up which are quite nice they're not 501st but this one came out a couple of uh, years back let me get the camera sorted out for you wait a minute hold Everybody hold the line. Now this guy right here. <coughs> ah, there you go. That's better. Right. Adjust. Adjust. Right, so this guy is um oh what is he? 187th. And so that new uh double pack with Mace Windu, okay? Um he comes with the 187th Battalion Trooper, but the color scheme is very different. It looks very purple whereas this guy is more of a a brown color. So, yeah, um and I'm wondering you know with that double pack is the is the is the sculpt the same it must be the same surely surely right this one no there was no head sculpt with this one which is odd i think that's kind of i really hope that in the future you know that just every time a, a trooper comes out no matter what it is there's a face sculpt underneath and a removable helmet that should be standard black series people this one was cool too this was the uh, 13th battalion trooper so we've had quite a few uh clone troopers come out in, in the last several years um so how would i score let's have a look uh, so let's get these guys back again i'd probably give the double pack an eight out of ten i really really like it um the only thing that hasbro could have done better is to have included perhaps some uh blaster effects like they do with marvel legends um you know like some pew pew effects and you can stick them in the end of the uh the rifle you know the 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 plastic has a little hole and you can put like some special effects in there like uh you know like with the flame trooper they did that that was really cool so yeah if, if you added that to this double pack i'd give it a 10 out of 10 it's just really so freaking cool man and all you guys in America were really lucky because these were Target exclusives. And I heard that they were going for like 20, 25 bucks. And I saw, I saw several, several pictures on, on Facebook in the groups of like collectors like scooping up 10 packs. <laughs> yeah, man, just go for it. I mean, that is just, that price is unbeatable. But, um, the actual price I think is something like 50 or 55 um us bucks and then of course if you're going to get it online you've got to pay for the shipping as well so but i think all in all it's pretty good what do you guys think you can write in the comment section below about today's video um i'll be back again to do another unboxing in a couple of days don't forget to subscribe and uh give, you know hit that like button and and uh, hit the notification bell and uh i'll see you in the next one when i get my hands on some more figures right may the force be with you you two all right carry on and get along with each other okay i don't care who's the grunt and who's the superior is this guy the lieutenant <laughs>